<clears throat> All right, gang, back for another one. I uh, got the Professor X on the table from yesterday's surprise um, layout sketch. So we've got that lined up. And we're going to knock him out pretty quick, I hope. Um, <laughs> we'll see. So. Hope everybody's having a good Monday afternoon. I know I am. Been busting out page work and website work and all that good stuff all day. So hopefully we'll be able to get that underway soon. I'm going to go with the classic suit here. I think I'm going to go with the classic blue suit. I like to put that little break right in there. Gonna cut that collar in and the tie right there. I didn't fill this out like I normally would for a card because I did the sketch yesterday, but I didn't want to mess with it too much after you guys got that as a surprise, so I didn't really flesh it out as much as I probably should have, but I didn't want it to go overkill and I didn't want to change it from what uh, what I laid out on the fly so we're going with what's here with few changes if any at all If you see me tapping the card as I move around, I'm making reference points for what I want to do for like the sleeve and things like that as I go in because I, I just mind map it basically so that I don't have to mess with it too much and I don't go cutting stuff off to where it shouldn't be and adding in over express stuff where it, it uh, saturates the image and makes everything change. I get asked about that all the time because it's like, dude, you, you keep tapping on the card, but yeah, the reason I keep doing that is because of the fact that I want to make sure everything goes in the way it's supposed to and not look funky, um, you know, look out of place. That's the reason I'll go in and tap on the card like that. I do that on pages too, and it drives people crazy because it's just like, really, why are you tapping on it? Hashtag tap that card. <laughs> That'll work. Just adding a little, a little bit of detail right up under here because I don't want it to be too crazy because a lot of people like to go in here and do, you know, these big gaps in sleeves and things. But when you have a suit that's really well done, you don't have to mess with that because they're custom made. So, you know, they're tailor made. So they don't really have a lot of room in them. That's the reason they form fit like they're supposed to. A lot of people get that wrong when they draw comics specifically because they don't think, you know, they, they draw these oversized clothes 
and they think, well, he's just got a loose fit. No, you, you can't go that way. Uh, you got to do it all the right way and all that. Draw it in, get it done, don't cut the corners. Draw a little drop shadow right here under the jaw. Pop that out just a little bit. I'm going to leave that face alone for a minute. And this is going to be an overlap right here where you got the chest and the shoulder back there. But this sleeve is going to come right down here. And because it's a little closer, it's going to be a little more awkward in shape. But it's definitely there. Now because his arm's raised up, you're going to have the contradiction of the ridge of the hand right here. And then you're going to have the sleeve come out just a little bit more away from the wrist. And I'll draw in that, the tendon and whatnot right there. But you're going to have it open just a little bit more because of the fact that it's going to be up. So it's going to be away from the arm. And you're going to have a little bit more of a gap. Not much, just a little bit. So, I like the older look to Professor X. I don't like him to be too youthful because um, he's always been a more mature looking guy just by design more than anything else. I mean, I don't draw him weird, like super old or anything. It's just I prefer to have him a little more mature than most people do, uh, especially with the first class style coming out. They tend to over push that line a little bit, and it's just not. He doesn't resonate um, a more mature, elderly type of uh, Professor X like we're used to from the comics. Not to say that's a bad thing, because, you know, everybody's young at one point, so. Kind of cutting in that forehead and that fingertip there. I want to maintain that look of a finger and not, you know, make it look like it's jacked and broken or whatnot. You killed his hand! Got to cut in that other finger right there. So he has both of them behind there. Now I'm going to cut in this pinky right here, this pinky finger, and I'm going to do the same thing that I always do, the straight line with the, the double humps right there for the uh, knuckle structure. Ah, the card's going to fight me a little bit. I'll have to clean that up when I ink it. There we go. Okay. Now I'll put in the side of the finger, because I want this to be the side of the pinky here, and I want to slim this hand down, because when I drew it out, I was going to originally do all three fingers right there, but I don't like the look of it, so I'm just going to shrink that down a little. I'm still going to put in the thumb here. But I want the two hand, the two fingers back there because I don't want it to be a huge hand and it just looks too massive that way. So I'm just going to cut that right down. Again, so we stick to the original plan here. Put it.
put in some detail on that sleeve. And with Professor X, be careful not to overwork the suit, because that ends up trashing beyond belief. Hey, Jim, glad you made it, man. A lot of people just overwork the suit to, to the death of, <laughs> of it being way over-rendered. Don't do that. And you may notice I'm rippling the lines a little bit. That's just because he's in, in the chair, and you can do that. You can get away with it, so... I'll put a crest of the shoulder pad right here. Which he doesn't have a shoulder pad necessarily. I'm not saying he does. It's just I want to put that shoulder crown more or less. Because his suits are always sharp. And it's the way they're sewn because they have a crease right here. But it is what it is. That's a, that is um, a classic English style suit. With the pointed shoulders. Gonna draw in this arm wrist. Go ahead and sketch that in. And down here I'm gonna put the edge of the thumb, just so we know that he has one. I don't want anybody freaking out. Where's his thumb? He doesn't have a thumb! <laughs> there's the front side of the chair and then I'm going to cut this wheel back just a little bit right there and that'll start that side I'll draw more on that in just a minute I want to cut in some more of this uh, this suit and this face. Because I do not want this to run long. Um, <clears throat> let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm going to put a pocket over here on this side. It varies depending on the artist that does it. But I'll put it in like that. So we won't have to mess with it. Got to put in that ridge for the hand. <clears throat> Get that going. And a little shadow under the thumb there. Okay, here we go with the classic, what I call Vulcan. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe it. The classic Vulcan style eyebrows for Professor X because they are just almost a check mark type of thing. Um, that's why this dude is so fun to draw. He has characteristics that you just don't get anywhere else. So, and I'm going to kind of make it where he's being a little more mischievous and it's like really you want to mess with me kind of thing rather than you know making him hostile it's more of a a cheeky smirk kind of a thing go ahead and drop that ear in there oh by the way while I'm doing this let me let me do this real quick to answer the question about the ear that I got yesterday off camera, here's the thing. I draw in this little nub right here, and then I draw the top and hook it back just a little bit to show the edge of the lobe. And then I come out with this little prong right here, which shows the raised area that's right underneath there. And then I come down and hook a little circle like this for the inner ear. That's how I draw ears. I got asked that, that yesterday. And um, a young lady asked me about it yesterday, so I thought I would pop on and say that uh, during this cast. So, there you go. Hope that answers that for you. You know who you are. And I don't want to call her out because of the fact that she asked me in private. So, I don't want to uh, throw her under the bus or anything. So, 
Now I know he's in a suit, but I'm going to go classic 80s style, and we're going to put a big plaid blanket across here. Just to be different. Because when he's in the mansion, he used to have these huge different colored blankets that a lot of guys uh, would draw on him because of the fact that that's just the way people in wheelchairs were. You know, they were always covering up their legs because they didn't have the circulation properly. So they would uh, have lap blankets to cover their legs. And some people covered them. Uh, I have friends and family that uh, use these as well. So um, a lot of them cover with the uh, blankets to cover the distraction of their legs being so thin as well. But, you know, whatever. I mean, just an observation for me. I just wanted to go old school with it because of the fact that I just loved it when uh, he would come out and I was like, really? The dude's going to have a blanket. Cool. So. That's just something from my X-Men experience from childhood that I just remember and being fascinated by. I know it's weird, right? <laughs> Why the blankets? <laughs> You're reading about mutants, but you... <laughs> You fix the item on the blankets. It's just something that sticks out to me for the character. <clears throat> now I'm going to drop in this other armrest right over here. And like I said uh, before about this, you want to make sure to go all the way out with these things and draw through because you never know how far you're gonna have to draw out with um, with characters like this so you know the wheelchair has to be part of it just like he does you know his suit is part of it his his body's part of it the chairs part of it um, the blankets part of it pay attention to all these features when you're drawing this stuff out I got asked about this and how far I was gonna go with this armrest and you know the chair and stuff you know why I went with a classic style chair instead of something that would be you know sci-fi esque like the X-Men revamps and such and I just got away from it um, I just wanted to do a classic Professor X so that's the reasoning behind that I'll get my big knuckles out of the way in just a moment getting that wheel carved in so now we've got that going we've got the chair the suit we need to put in this this wall right here because in this chair it's also panels um, there were always white panels on the side for some reason I don't I don't know why that one was cut off like that but that's the way it was always drawn in the books and um, it was either chrome or it was this black one with these panels with the white panels it was always strange to see that for me but uh, like I said, it is what it is. I just noticed little details like that. But, as far as this being on the parallel, we've got to get this right so we make sure. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we wouldn't see the handles on this side. I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to draw in the eye here. If you guys are wondering why I'm being a little choppy today or a little... Uh, Uh, I was afraid of cutting into the card there. Um, if you're wondering why I'm being just a little different about the approach of this, is because we drew it on the fly yesterday. Uh, when I drew it on the fly, I didn't draw everything in. I just wanted you guys to have a pose as a surprise for this. But I didn't think this out just as much as I normally do, which I normally spend about 10 or 15 minutes thinking about the pose. Then I go in and just kick out the drawing in a couple of minutes and be done with it. Yesterday I did this on the fly and it was last minute right before I decided to go live that I was going to give you guys a surprise with it for this layout. I mean this thing was literally done right there on the spot. I had no idea how I was going to draw him out. I just did. But that sometimes makes some of the best poses when you put on the spot like that. This is going to be a shadow spot here on the side of the suit. 
um, because of his underarm here and because of the way he's sitting that light coming in that way I'm gonna put just a little bit of a spot of black right here to make a shadow underneath the edge of his suit and boy I really need to clean that hand up what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in like this I'm gonna put just a little bit of an edge right there and I'm not gonna black it out because that, that would you know Wally Woods famous rule I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna keep it open for you guys so you can see what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow right here to pop that off for a curve just a little bit and that'll bring it down and define it a little bit more There we go. Yeah, that came out all right. Cut that nose in just a little bit more. And there we have it. Professor X. I hope you guys dig it. Tomorrow we have Magneto. And um, I, I was thinking about doing something different. And maybe... Uh, doing something different with this one and saving it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Magneto tomorrow as scheduled but I think I'm going to do an add-on for this one and I'm going to put some of the X-Men around him and maybe put him at the bottom of like a six card piece and uh, do some X-Men stuff around him as a collage uh, would you guys be interested in seeing that I mean it would take a couple days extra on you know the card work and whatnot but I can add it into where we can build on that as we progress I think that'd be neat but uh, as for this one I think we're ready to go, other than the fact that I need to draw this in so he doesn't look like he has some kind of a Rogaine problem. Drawing this Professor X. Energy burst right here. So we have this going. there we go we're calling it done so you guys uh, thanks as always I so appreciate you coming by and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one take care